We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwback. I'm excited about this one. Given the recent appearance on the Bad Batch, the, the coming again of Clone Commander Wolf, I decided to go back and take a look at his original original figure, his his debut figure. Yeah, well, just tilt the camera down a little bit. Yeah, I remember picking this one up. I was very lucky to find him in a big W at the time. And I remember having to... I can't remember what the choice was. It was Commander Wolf... And it was the Clone Riot Trooper with the shield. Those were the two I found on the day. And I only had enough cash on me for the one. Um, and I really liked the look of the, look of the clone um, with the shield. I still don't have that figure to this day. So, um, yeah, very grateful. I just sided on C Commander Wolf. Uh, here's my second favorite clone after Jesse. Um, and that comes to my allegiance to Plo Koon and the Wolf Pack. But, um, yeah, let's get a look at his, his card. It's a cool picture of Commander Wolf there. Two blaster pistols looks good. And, yeah, just the instructions to the Galactic Battle Game on the back. Yeah, nice image there. And the card back. Great image there of Commander Wolf. In the back, he's got the uh, firing rocket launcher, which I don't have with me, but I don't display that thing. <laughs> I know I've still got some of the guns packed away, but probably don't have any of the rockets. So it says, yeah, clone Commander Wolf under the command of Jedi General Plo Koon. Wolf is a seasoned trooper. He uses his extensive battlefield experience to lead clone troopers through the challenges of combat. His scarred face and lost eye are a result of an encounter with the skilled assassin Asajj Ventress. A couple other figures. There's Ahsoka. And that one's quite pricey now. Anakin, Aqua Droid, and LS. All characters I'll get to at some point on these. Thursday throwback videos. So let's take a look at Wolf. Get a good close-up look of his face there. Scar now running down the face. Looks good. I like the sort of the blue grey colour. Again I've got him with his pistol. A lot of the clones I have on display, I just have them with their helmets at their side. Particularly when they're a clone that um, can take their helmet off like this one. So yeah, it's got the plastic goods of the Karma on the back. We'll chuck the helmet on him have a look. Now because he's got that sort of real flat top hairdo... Kind of misshapes the uh, helmet a little bit. You can kind of see it sort of just squares it off a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit, yeah, a little bit misshapen. But in the past, what I've done is I've just swapped his head with another clone head just to put the helmet on. Or another head, I can't even remember. It's been a long time, just so the helmet sits on a little bit nicer. With that, with that hairdo. But yeah, nicely painted. Looks good. I always did have a little bit of trouble getting the antennas and stuff to look right. But there's been worse, so I do actually have a couple of others to look at here. A couple other versions of Commander Wolf. There are three other versions. It's a surprise that, um, you know, Wolf... Well, I guess he's prominent enough, but... He's had he's had a few figures now, which is great, including a Black Series. So before we go on to the others, we'll check out this one's articulation. He's got the ball joint in the head. 
ball hinges in the shoulders, elbows, and wrists. Uh, this wrist goes up and down. This wrist goes in and out. Got a bit of a torso joint there, as you can see. A bit of a pivot. Got the swivel thighs. Hinge in the knees and hinge in the ankles. So I had all the modern, current articulation. For the time, anyway. A lot of still swivels and thighs, pretty prominent. And what year is this guy? Let's check that out. So it's still 2008, but you know, this he probably came out in 2010, um, just reusing some parts from other clones. So let's put him aside. We'll take a look at some of the others. So they did do a phase two version of Wolf. Here he is. And this is when they started, when, when the Clone Wars started coming to an end, uh, the figures started getting a little, they started going backwards a little bit. They started cutting back on articulation. He didn't have the knees. I remember they did the same to Rex. And he was missing some serious articulation. And um, yeah, the fans really spoke up and Hasbro re-released Rex with articulated knees in that sort of green um, Yoda packaging. That sort of pre... 3D Episode 2 when that never happened. <laughs> so yeah, spot for a jetpack there. Yeah, it was definitely a big backward step. The paint armor there, you can sort of see the wolf, wolf pack signet on the side. So on both sides, both of those figures. And the helmet. Nicely sculpted too. And then we got this one. This is one that came out in... This one came out in the Black Series. From memory. Now let's have a look at the date stamp on this one. Because that will give us an idea. 2014. So yeah, this would have been Black Series. Um, three and three quarter inch. And this was depicting... Uh, Commander Wolf, part of the Lost Missions episode where he's with Plo Koon on Obadiah and they find the crashed shuttle of uh, Sifo Dyas. A really, really cool idea for this figure to put this character out, this version of Commander Wolf. Um, and yeah, it was, you know, dis the only thing that was lacking is he's a little underscale. Now, I always said it was sort of the upper chest, sort of torso bit that looks a little bit small compared to, say, where the upper waist joint is. And you can just sort of look at the shape of his chest. It's just a little bit on the small side, even in comparison. You know, do a little side by side and you can sort of see, you know, there's definitely a blatant size difference there with this one. Otherwise, it was a really cool idea. A nice, nice figure for what it is. I mean, the soft goods were great. You know, even with that sort of the, the darker, the black sort of zigzagged sort of theme from the wolf pack. Had all the paint. Paint deco looks great. The wolf logo on the helmet looks awesome. And the style of the helmet. But yeah, it was just it was just that sort of torso that really let it go a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. It was just whether it was just something in sculpting, um, just didn't come out to the slightly more imposing figure he should be. You know, just needs just that little bit taller. It would have been, you know, a really really great figure instead of just a good one. But I do, I do still like him. There's almost a little bit of Ralph McQuarrie Snowtrooper about him. I like that. Or oh, the Joe Johnson Snowtrooper, even. And then last, recent, most recently, we have the Vintage Collection Commander Wolf, which brings him in in his Phase 2 style with a little bit more of a realistic approach. And this is still... A pretty nice, pretty nice action figure. 
helmet fits on nicely. Aesthetically, it's a nice figure, probably missing some of the more recent articulation, such as like the uh, under the under the chest there, but it still looks good. Uh, yeah, only swivels in the thighs. But otherwise, a pretty damn cool version of Commander Wolf here. And I will check back at the end of the video once I've, uh, during editing, I'll see if I have reviewed any of these others and I'll put links to those at the end of the video here. So yeah, we've got three different types of Commander Wolf. I mean, from Clone Wars, later in the Clone Wars, Black Series, and then most recently Vintage Collection, being the one I just showed you. So we have three wolves. We always have a little wolf pack here. But yeah, definitely, definitely the main focus is on the Clone Wars one. Let's get a look at that head sculpt again, because that's pretty damn good. All right, I appreciate you guys watching. It's good fun doing these Clone Wars videos. Good chance to go back and look at some older figures that I haven't really paid too much attention to of late. Um, yeah, stay tuned for next week. There's always going to be more. Looking forward to it. Um, please drop any comments, any requests down in the comments below. Let me know. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Until then, may the Force be with you always.